Welcome to the testing world. Agenda of the session is to run test suites from the command prompt and then we are going to generate report by running the test suites from the command prompt. So first we are going to execute only the test suites from the command prompt. In the second approach we are going to generate reports as well. So first I'm moving to my test suite and here in my test suite we have three test cases. In first test case, we have a load test as well. In second test case, we have a security test. In this session, we are going to execute only functional test cases from the command prompt. For that, first we need to save this project. Right click on the project, save project as so we can save this project anywhere in the system. I'm going to my drive G and here I'm having folder soap. So I'm saving my project over this location. When you want to execute your test suite from the command prompt, first we need to save the project. So I have saved this project. Once you save the project, we can close this soap UI. So I closed it. Now my SOAP UI is closed. Starting the command prompt, so I'm going to the run and CMD. So my command prompt is open. Here we need to check where my SOAP UI is installed. So in my case, my SOAP UI is installed in the C, Program Files, Smart Bear. Inside the Smart Bear, we need to move to the bin folder. And here we will find out we have few bat files. One is testrunner.bat. So we need to pick this location and from the command prompt move to the location where your testrunner.bat file is present. So that will be find out inside your smart bear. Then we will move to the bin folder. So inside the bin folder. We are going to get this file. So first I move to this location. So I mention CD and the location. So I move to C program files, smart beer, soap UI and bin folder. Now I want to execute my test suite here. So I'm giving test runner dot bat hyphen S. Now we need to write name of the test suite that we have created in our SOAP UI. So in my case, my test suite name was suite 1. Now we need to give path where my SOAP UI project is saved. Mention the location. So I'm setting. So here I give the location and the project. The extension of the project was XML. So what we need to do first we need to move to the location where my test runner dot bat file is present that will be inside the bin folder of the SOAP UI installation location. Then we need to write code like test runner dot bat hyphen s then suite name and the location of the project XML. Just click on the enter button and here we see it start executing your functional test case. So by default, it execute only functional test case. If you want to check the logs, we can check it over here. Running SOAP UI test in the project. Running suite 1. And here case 1 is executing. And we can check step 2 of the case 1 executing. And then move it down. And here case 2 is executing, case 3 is executing. So we have seen it is executing all the test cases of the test suite. I'm clearing the screen. So CLS is to clear the screen. Now I want to execute my functional test case. And apart from it, I want to generate reports as well. So again, first I'm giving my test runner dot bat 
and hyphen s and then suite name that is the suite name suite one hyphen r means i want to generate summary report like in report we are going to get only summary hyphen j means i want to generate j unit style reports hyphen o means once the report is generated after execution is complete open the report immediately now we can give path of my project so given the project name dot xml i just execute this and here we see it started execution and once the execution is done we are going to get a report as well first move to the command prompt and here we see it shows you have executed one test suite in which we have only three test cases total assertions that we are having is the four once it is done we are moving to html report which is already open because we are using hyphen o means once the output is generated or the report is generated automatically open it so here we can see the details moving to the home again so here we have seen we executed our test cases from the command prompt and we can also generate JUnit styling report from the command prompt. Thanks for watching this video.